Hi, it's Nell, and I am surrounded today by all these bromeliads for a reason. These are the bromeliads I did all the individual care videos on about a couple moments ago. And this is in response to a few quick questions I've gotten about why are my bromeliad flowers turning brown. So stick around and find out what to do about that and why it's happening. Of course, like all flowers, they go through their cycle of forming, living, and dying. And that is what's happening to the bromeliad flower. It's not anything you're doing wrong. If the whole plant is turning brown too, you could be overwatering. There could be something wrong with that. But if just the flower itself starts to turn brown, it's just the, the natural cycle it's going through. What happens with bromeliads is they flower and then slowly this mother plant starts to die. So you'll see it happening um, not too fast, like on the Acamea, there's a little bit of brown, but overall it looks good. And I got this at the end of December and it is now the end of May. But I just want to show you, uh, well, actually, first of all, I'm going to show you all these close up so you can see exactly what the flower looks like. So the Vrisha here, which used to have, used to be orange here, is all green, as you can see. It doesn't look bad. This doesn't bother me at all. These are the dead flowers here. So after this starts to really go, you can see some brown spots, but I'm going to leave it for probably like at least another month more because it's not bothering me. And once it starts to turn totally brown, then I will cut it all the way off. And here is the pink quill plant. I know I've gotten a couple of cool questions about the quill turning green, and it's just going through its cycle of starting to die, but it still looks great, and it's been green for at least a month and a half now. But you can see, here's where the flowers were, the blue flowers. But they just last like a day or two. So this, I love this color, this sort of a limey green. So I'm going to leave that. And this hasn't even started to turn brown at all. Okay, here we are at the Acmea. And it's really only showing a little bit of brown right there. So unless you get up really close to it, it doesn't look horrible. So that's going to stay for a while. And here's the Neurogelia. It's the one I just... Um, not this very same one, but it's the same type of bromeliad that I just did the uh, removing the bromeliad pups from. And this still looks fabulous. That's why they're my favorites. Now, judging from the amount of video views, they are not your favorites, but <laughs> I, I like them because a plant looks good for years. It's a nice, long-lasting plant. But the flowers were actually deep inside there, just these tiny blue things. But... I just love this, this variegation right here, this pop of color, but that's just going to stay as is. It's in my, uh, in my bathroom and it looks fabulous. And while I'm on the topic of bromeliad pups, there's the pup forming off of this one because I didn't show this in the, uh, in the pup video, but it's got one there, but they come out slowly. And as I said, these plants are very long lasting. Oh, by the way, I bought a couple of these bromeliads in November, and I bought a couple of them in December, and I bought one or two in January, and now it is the end of May, just to let you know um, how long they have lasted. For me, the flowers have lasted at least four months, just to let you know. And this, um, this, like for instance, pink quill plant will stay green for probably like at least another month or two. And it's been green for a while. Okay, so I've moved the others out of the way so you can see the Guzmania here. And this is the one that has been the most popular. <laughs> so uh, here's a pup here forming on it and a pup here. So as you can see, this flower is quite brown. You can cut it off when it starts to get brown if it bothers you. 
It's not going to hurt the plant because the plant doesn't need to go through any cycle. It's going to die anyway. Or I was just backed up on videos. I was going to do this sooner, but um, now the, the flower head is quite brown. So what you can do is you can either cut it off here right there and leave a bit of the green here or you could take it all the way down even further and cut it right there just depends on the look that you like and this is what you're left with after you cut away your guzmania flower and this plant is going to eventually die. It's going to take a while. It's not going to happen right away after you cut the flower. So you can just let the, this plant die or at least start to die out. And then you can remove the bromeliad pups using the method that I showed you in the video on the blog. The links to those will be down below. Okay, here's a little close up on the guzmania here. You could have actually gone all the way down to here and cut all the way down inside if, if you wanted to. I just wanted to leave those couple of leaves because they look good, but those will eventually start to go and, and then you can cut that stem off too. And as usual, there will be a link to the blog post down below that goes along with this. And I just want to show you um, really quickly with the Varisha flower when it comes time to cut it off. You would want to go all the way down in the vase here and cut as much of this stem off as you can. It goes um, deep inside the urn here or, or the vase and just reach down as far as you can and cut it off there. The same applies to the Acmea too you want to get down as far as you can to cut it off. This was a really simple and a very short video, but I just wanted to explain what was happening when they start to look bad, you know, start to turn brown. It's just the, the cycle they're going through. You can either leave them for as long as you want to if it doesn't bother you, or you can cut them off. But either way, the plant is going to die, but new ones will appear. So the lineage carries on. I know you like bromeliads as much as I do, so I hope you have found this video to be helpful. And I thank you for all your likes and your subscribes. I really appreciate them. Now let's get into our outdoor gardens or our indoor gardens and make our worlds a more beautiful place. I have a lot more videos coming your way, so stay tuned for those. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. And it is the very end of May, so I wish you all a happy summer. Bye.